What's good? It's your boy Czar All Rights Reserved in the building once again. I actually held off because, again, I told you, these guys hear a story, they come out. But let's keep it real right now. Who told you last month, be prepared for rappers to start getting wrapped up? Who told you this? Was it that guy over there who did the video yesterday? This guy talking today? Or me, who told you this a month ago? Who did that? It's time for the real to start speaking up. Like, this is my thing. I've been doing this longer than a lot of guys. They boast their numbers, boast all that stuff. The thing is, you can't teach common sense. You can't teach the art to looking into a person the same way these cops do that be wrapping these guys up, putting them in cases. You can't teach somebody to do that at all. I already told you rappers were going to get dropped. I told you this from the get-go. Off of what they did, if I named them, would that have been more realistic to you? And then something happened, or would you say, oh, he named them. He's the reason something happened. Or would I just tell you something's going to happen, be knowledgeable enough? See, it gets to the point. These cats will hear somebody they respect or they want to respect them say it. And they'll be like, oh, he said it. So he's so great. The thing is, I've been telling you guys this stuff. I've been telling you there's rappers. Last month, on this channel, receipts to prove it. They have nothing proven. I got things to prove it. I told you rappers are going to start getting caught and wrapped up. If not by the cops, some other way. Then again, about Jay the Youngin. You're telling me that he wasn't attacked by professionals. There was nothing professional about his hit or what happened to him. Perfectly planned shots that hit a certain way now here's my thing i'm not saying there's nothing to prove that it's authority because remember a guy showed up at the hospital they had a battle but i'm telling you i told you rappers were going to be targeted in situations because i know the type of things they've done where behind the scenes these cats don't talk about and i don't talk about because i told you if my connect tells me something i don't talk about what they tell me exactly i do synopsis synapses excuse me of exactly what's talked about because i told them this is protecting their identities that i'm not going to give up their information as i promised for my connects but i've been told you it's going to be bad for rappers out here it's because my thing is it's the music they make it's the imagery they carry it has nothing it does not acknowledge god it does not acknowledge life it puts their families in danger when it comes to the music, because they're preaching death to the culture. They're preaching death to a dying culture. What do you think is going to happen? You're literally doing the work of Satan. You're literally doing Satan's job. So what do you think is going to happen to you? God's going to back up. He's going to be slack. Again, I'm going to write all these verses down. I'm going to go through them. He's going to be very slack. And when stuff happens, he's not going to get involved. On a normal Nothing happens to you without God allowing it. That's because he stands in the way and says, that's my son. But if you're preaching the devil's message, he's not going to stand up and back you. If you're saying God don't exist, he's not going to protect you. He's not going to have your back because you're not aligned with God. So when stuff happens to these rappers and things, it's because of their alignment with Satan. That's a fact. What do they rap about? If I'm rapping about guns, money. Weapons, whores, murder, violence. What do, what do you think is going to happen? And this is what I kept trying to tell these rappers. Even mentioning the rappers before that I talked to, I keep telling them they're not listening. You're rapping about death. You're rapping about pain and suffering. You're going to embody that. What are you preaching? If there was a pastor in a pulpit and he was preaching bad things, good things are going to happen to him? Think about it. You talk about the universe. It's logic. It's sad. Another young man taken from this world too early. He had a youngin that he had to teach in his life what to do. And now because of the situation, his raps, his enemies, he's made drama to the point where it's taking him out. 
This is not the will of God. So if you're not aligned with God's will, again, what do you expect to happen in those situations? Somebody older was there collecting the money as well. You have to. They got guys around them. You're telling me out of all the people around, there's not one person, one, that knows God, that knows what's good, that is man enough to step up and say, yo, we shouldn't rap about this. Yo, we should change this. Yo, do it different. Yo, we got to do something else. Yo, you got a kid. You got to live for your kid. Yo, make a better choice. Yo, why you rapping about that? Let's do something different. We could do better. You're more talented than that, bro. Nobody around these rappers to talk to them for real like that. Y'all ain't got no one around y'all like that, son. Then y'all need to pay me to be there. I'll spit logic to you. I'll be behind you saying, look, man, you got to do this better. You got to make better choices. No one. They got no one. Because here's my thing. None of these guys were, were around when he this was happening to him. My thing is, you're with all these guys. You rock with them. They make money with you. They get paid. They go home to their family. But you get caught up. You're the superstar. Yeah, you get called up, caught up. And now you're gone. And they're home with their family, with their legs crossed, crying, complaining about you being gone. But the time to speak was months before. That's what I'm telling you. Yo, I don't know whether because I'm old school and already been there, done that. I'm knowledgeable. And you guys just aren't smart to, to know this. But when you got someone older around you, they need to be kicking that real to you. Yo, stop preaching and rapping about this. Yo, let's change. Yo, take your stardom and do something smart so you make more money without having to rap and be out there in danger or in the way of danger. No one talks to y'all like that. For Yo, for real though? Nobody kicks it to these guys like that? Are you serious? Yo, I'm in disbelief. Nobody. Not one person kicks it to him like that. That's insane. Yo, none of these guys could be my friend. None of y'all could be my friend. I wouldn't call you a friend. You'll be associate. You'll be associate. Just on the little things, I got friends kicking real to me. Telling me, yo, check this out. Yo, check that out. Isn't that wrong? Isn't that that? Friends talking scripture to me. Us talking scripture back and forth. Debating. Doing stuff that will further our life. If God is life and you're preaching death, then who are you doing it for? Think. That's not Christ. That's not God. And they say, God, why you do that? They bashing God, but they're doing the devil's work. How are you bashing God and you're delivering the devil's message, doing the devil's work? Think logically. Does that make sense? Come on. They have no one around them. Is this beyond anyone's understanding? Put it in the comments below. If this is beyond your understanding, speak up. Speak up. You're real, ain't you? All these guys on here saying, I'm real. I do this. I'm the real deal. I'm we over, we real over here. But you ain't talking real to the people around you when it matters. That's what I'm saying. Yo, this, this is what I'm talking about. And this is the problem with all these guys on here getting up here dropping videos. YouTube loves the foolishness. They love these guys. Because they're getting other cats lined up, set up in situations when just praying for people and giving them good information can help some of these youngins. They're young. Got these old men on here just talking. Are you helping these young guys? Aren't you directing these young cats to where they need to go? There were so many opportunities for people to talk to him the right way. I'm speaking to some other people that were allegedly, allegedly talking in these, some of these rappers ears. And I'm asking them. They're like, I told him. I told this guy. I got a bunch of people telling me they told these people this. So if they told them this, why didn't they listen? They're saying, I did say that. What are you talking about? I said it. Then if y'all said it, then why didn't they do it? Yo. This is what I'm saying. A change needs to happen for these rappers to continue to profit for their family. Create a legacy and hold it up and push it further for your family. Stop getting caught up in the mess. Another rapper gone. 
All these people going to celebrate and be around them, celebrating their life when you could have stopped the death. Come on. Yo, black men, this is, come on. What are you doing, black man? What are you doing? What are you doing? Now I'm asking you straight up, what you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Start speaking life into the ears of these young boys. Our generation is being wiped out like no one cares. They're just dancing to the music, saying R.I.P. Are you guys, hold on, you guys got caught up in the mesmerization? Wait, did, he, did these quote-unquote woke people catch you up in the lies? Are you caught up in the illusion? Break the illusion. Break it. For the good of humanity, for the good of our bloodline. What are you doing? You're doing what they want you to do. You're wiping each other out. Yo. <laughs> Yo, these guys are hilarious. Yo, real talk. I'll be spitting these facts to people your parents' age. I'll be talking that real, and I know it's real. From a jail cell to anywhere you go, it's the real I kick. Because I heard the real when I was young. And in these situations that y'all ain't even in. Some of y'all never been in. All rights reserved.